Welcome to Tips and Tricks with Polysan. My name is Lars Kunert and today I like to introduce the heatsink source component to you. The variant 8A can be used to change the existing gas burner to a heat source. The heat source can be seen as example for district heating systems. To change the gas burner to a heat sink or a heat source in our case, we need to find the uh, energy sink source item, click on it and click on the work area and also we need to add a pump. And now we can connect everything together and change from the gas burner to our new heat source. I recommend not to delete the gas burner immediately. It is easier to change the controller settings first. To change the controller settings, double click on the auxiliary heating controller and define the design flow rate for the heat source. Also, we need to define the pump and the transfer loop. And give also the pump the design flow rate to run the system probably. Now it is time to delete the gas burner and to have a look at the settings for the heat source. Double click on the heat source and define the inlet and outlet temperature. Please do not forget to set also the rated power demand for the heat source. I think 5 kW are ok for this system. Now it is time to start the first simulation. The simulation delivers us valuable results to analyze our system. Besides the result overview, you should also check out the component results, the graphical evaluation and the system analysis. The simulation analysis delivers you information about your system for each simulation time step. That means you can immediately cross-check if your system is working as it's supposed to do. The system 58A can be used as an example for an energy sink. It can be any process heat demand. With a double click on the energy sink, we can open the energy sink settings and change it. Let's change the energy consumption to a certain profile. To enter a new energy consumption profile, we copy an old one, for example for building, and give it a new name. Now click on the pan to edit it. First we open the existing consumption profile in Excel. The consumption profile you can see in the first row that we have uh, simulation time steps. The second column you see the inlet temperature, third co column you see the outlet temperature and in the last one you have the power consumption. I'm going to change the inlet temperature from 55, 45 to 55 degree and save this consumption profile under a new name. I will call my file zero test and say save. And now I'm going back to Polysan. The next step, clicking again on the consumption file, and now I need to select the certain file. Here it is. And we go again everything is okay 
and we can start the simulation again. Now we can start to analyze our system. At this point I want to say goodbye to you and uh, wish you a great day.